Hello there. Good afternoon, nurses. Hello. Nakikita po ba ako? All right, nandiyan. Hi there, good afternoon nurses. Kamusta yung gising natin? Kamusta tayong lahat? I hope that all of us are doing great. No, so right now, we will have your online review here on IPAS. So yung i-discuss pa natin ay lahat ito tungkol sa pediatric nursing. All normal pediatrics yung i-discuss natin. I know all of us here are relate na relate tayo kasi simula tayong pagkabata natin na ginagamit natin or ginagawa natin ito hanggang sa pagtanda tayo. Okay, but before that, let me introduce to you my name first. I am Christian Dave Viva and I am a registered nurse here in the Philippines as well as in the United States of America. So currently, I am a coach here on IPAS and I will be here for you to guide you on your Middle East examinations and of course on your international exams. All right, so without further ado, let's now continue with our discussion on your pediatrics nursing. Okay, um, can I share my screen, Sir Vince? I cannot share my screen now. All right. Sige, let me share to you my screen now. Yan. So yung ipag, eh, itatalakay po natin ay tungkol sa pediatrics nursing. Sige, umpisahan natin. Remember this nurse sa pag sinabi pong pediatrics nursing, simula nung pagkabata natin, meron po tayong tinatawag na growth and development. Again, meron po tayong tinatawag na growth and development. Simula ng pagkabata natin, tayo po ay maliit lamang. Pero ngayon tayo ay fully, glow, fully grown person at tayo ay ginagawa natin yung mga gamit na hindi natin kayang gawin ng bata tayo. Okay? Isa-isahin natin. Ano yung difference, sir, ng growth at saka development? Pag sinabi po natin growth, that is the quantity size. Pag sinabi quantity, there is a number. Again, pag sinabi ko pong quantity, there is a number. So it could be a physical size. Okay, question sa mga nurses natin dyan. Kapag tayo po ay pumunta sa emergency room at saka meron pong pediatrics, ano yung una natin ginagawa? Ano yung una natin ina-assess? Of course, we assess the demographic profile of the patient and then afterwards, ano yung tinatanong ng mga doctors natin? Kamusta yung kilo ng bata? Okay, ilan yung kilo ng bata? Okay, kasi nga, dyan natin malalaman na yung bata ay lumalaki through the growth. Okay, through the kilo of the baby. The physical size, and remember this, we have two parameters on your growth. This is the weight and the height. Again, alam natin na yung bata ay lumalaki kapag siya ay bumibigat at saka siya ay tumataas. Again, alam natin na yung bata ay lumalaki kapag siya ay bumibigat at siya ay tumataas. But remember this, between the two, between weight and height, the best criteria for uh, for growth is weight. Bakit? Kasi if you would notice, kapag pagdating ng pasyente doon sa ER, ano yung una tinatanong na doctor? Kamusta yung kilo? Kasi yung kilo natin nagvavary yan sa ating gamot na ibibigay sa ating mga pediatric clients. That's why kapag yung doctor nag-ask sa iyo, nagtanong sa iyo na magkano yung kilo natin, i-compute natin 'yan, yung ating desired uh, medication for the patient based on sa weight ng patient natin. And remember this nurses ha, the normal weight ng paglabas ng bata natin that's 2500 to 4000 mg, 2.2 uh, to 4.5 kilo and of course 6 to 9 pounds. Again, yung normal weight natin kapag tayo po ay bata, pag paglabas ng bata, it should be 2500 to 4000 mg, 2.5 to 4 kilograms and of course 6 to 9 pounds. Now, tanong ka sa inyo nurses. Kapag yung bata ay paglabas 3 kilograms, what would be the expected kilo ng bata kapag siya ay 6 months na? Sige, ano? Okay, critical thinking natin kasi yan yung parating lumalabas sa nursing exam. Kapag yung bata ay pinanganak siya ng 3 kilos, paano pag siya ay 6 months na? What would be the expected weight of the baby? Ano yung mga sagot natin? Remember nurses, ha? I really wanted to make my class interactive. I don't masyadong delay yung Facebook Live natin. Ha? But let me try, let, let you try to answer it. Kapag yung bata 
ay 3 kilograms ngayon and then magdo-double yung weight niya after 6 months, the expected weight of the baby would be 6 kilograms by, very good, 6 kilograms by the 6th month. Okay, very good tayo. Pero paano? Kapag tinanong sa inyo sa nursing exam, what would be the expected weight of the baby after two and a half years? Uh, three kilograms yung bata. After two and a half years, magkano na ang kilo ng bata? Alright, nakikita ko yung mga sagot ninyo. Six kilograms, tama tayo doon sa first question. Now, on the second question, what would be the expected kilo of the baby after two and a half years? Very good. This is kasi sabi natin, it quadruples on two and a half years. So that would be three, six, nine, twelve. It it uh it quadruples on the two and a half years. Very good tayo. Yan yung famous na lumalabas sa nursing exam. Again, take note nurses, it doubles on the six months, it triples on the 12 months, and it quadruples on the two and a half years. Very good tayo on your weight. Proceed tayo on your height. Okay, sabi ko sa inyo, there are two criterion for your growth, the height and the weight. Na discuss natin yung weight, discuss natin yung height. The height, yung paglabas ng bata, approximately 19 to 21 inches. We are using what? Tape measure. But remember this, nurses, ha? on the first six months, yung taas ng bata, one inch per month. Okay? So paglabas ng bata on the eighth month, that's 1.5 inch per month. Okay, this is your example. Kapag yung bata lumabas 20 inches, what would be the expected um, length of the baby after 6 months? Again, paglabas ng bata six, uh, paglabas ng bata 20 inches after 6 months, what would be the expected uh, length of the baby? Sige. Ano yung mga sagot natin? Very good. Yung, uh, yung, yes, very good po tayo. Ma'am Abby, uh, Sir Mark, yes. The, the expected uh, length of the baby would be 26 inches kasi nga sabi natin 20 inches sa pinanganak and then after 6 months, within 6 months, 1 inch per month. So 6 plus 20, that is 26 inches. Very good. Tama tayo. Pero paano? Kapag sinabi ng, ng board examination is that 20 inches siya pinanganak, what would be the expected um expected length of the baby after one year? Okay? After 12 months, what would be the expected uh, length of the baby after one year? Ano yung expected natin kapag yung bata pinanganak siya 20 inches and then after one year, ilan na yung expected natin ng length ng bata? Oy, malaming nagkamali dito ah. Yung iba, yung sagot nila 32, yung iba, sagot nila 35. Yung iba, ano yung sagot ninyo? Very good, may nakatama tayong isa. Okay, sige, ito siya ha. 1.5 inches times 12. That would be 18. Again, 12 months yung expected natin after one year. There are 12 months in a year. So, ibig sabihin po, 12 times 1.5 plus 20. So, 12 times 1.5, that would be 18 plus 20 inches. Yung kanyang pinanganak siya. Yan na yung inches niya. So, 18 plus 20, that would be 38 inches. Yung expected natin kapag yung bata ay nasa 1 year old na. Nagagets ba? Okay. Meron pa rin tayong nagkamali. Sige. Another clue. Kapag yung, pinanganak ng kapag yung pinanganak na bata is 20 inches, what would be the expected na inches after 10 months? Okay. That's your another question. Kapag pinanganak siya 20 inches after 10 months, Ilan yung expected natin na length ng pata? Okay, meron na kagets. Gets nila. Yung iba, hindi pa nagagets ng iba. Okay, like for example, 
20 inches siya, nung pinanganak siya, and they're after 10 months, what would be the expected length of the baby? Okay, very good. Yes, 35 inches tayo dyan. Because 10 times 1.5, that would be 15. Plus 20 inches nung siya ay pinanganak. Okay, so that would be overall 20, ah, sorry, 35 inches. Very good tayo dyan. Tama yung mga sagot natin. Again, yung ating growth ay uh, weight and height kasi ginagamitan natin ng ano? Ginagamitan natin ng number, quantity. Okay? That's growth. Maintindihan ba? Alright, proceed tayo. Remember this nurses ha? Estrogen and testosterone are responsible for the height of both male and female. Yung testosterone nakikita sa mga lalaki, yung estrogen natin nakikita sa babae. And remember this nurses, tanungin ko, tanungin mo yung sarili mo, lumabas na ba yung third molar ko? Lumabas na ba yung aking wisdom tooth? Remember this, if you are uh, if you are 21 years old at saka hindi pa lumabas yung wisdom tooth mo, ibig sabihin pwede ka pang tumaas. Bakit? Kasi yung wisdom tooth mo ay also responsible for your epiphyseal plate. Your epiphyseal plate is responsible for the growth. Nakikita natin yung epiphyseal plate natin sa long bones natin. So it coincides with your wisdom tooth. So kapag lumabas na yung wisdom, wisdom tooth natin, so ibig sabihin hindi ka na tataas. Kasi nga fully erupted na yung wisdom tooth natin, yung ating epiphyseal plate is already close. Naintindihan pa. Pero kapag yung wisdom tooth mo or your third molar are still there, hindi pa siya lumalabas, ibig sabihin, pwede ka pang tumaas. Naintindihan ba? Okay. Pero paano, sir? Sir, I'm already 35. Pero hindi talaga lumabas sa akin yung wisdom tooth ko. Ano yung gagawin ko? Okay, remember this? Ibig sabihin po yan, yung ating wisdom tooth is already impacted. Okay, ibig sabihin, kailangan na yan ng surgery. Kailangan na yan surgical intervention by your dentist kasi nga impacted na yung tooth mo. Hindi na siya makakalabas. If normally, the wisdom tooth should erupt like this. But on your wisdom tooth, naka-impact. Okay, ibig sabihin, impacted, hindi siya lalabas. Okay, nakatagilid, naka-oblique yung ngipin natin. Okay, so ibig sabihin, kapag gusto mo pang tumaas, makikita mo yan sa wisdom tooth natin. Okay? The stoppage of height coincides with the eruption of the wisdom teeth. Alright? Sige, proceed tayo. Kanina, sinabi ko sa inyo doon sa growth, that is the, the quantity. Kapag sinabing quantity, there is a number. Kapag sinabi ko naman pong development, quality. Again, kapag sinabi ko pong development, quality. Ano yung difference ng growth at saka development, sir? Yung growth, merong number. Yung development, increase the function of the child. Again, paki-underline ang pakilagay po sa mga notes natin. What is development? Development is the increase the function of the child. Ano yung ibig sabihin nito? Kung nung bata ka, hindi ka marunong uh, okay, nung bata ka, marunong ka lang magsak Okay, magsak ka lang sa daddy ng mother mo. Okay, nung infant tayo, breastfeeding. Yan lang yung ginagawa mo nung infant ka. Pero at pagdating mo ng 15, uh, 15 months, marunong ka ng lumakad. Okay, marunong ka ng lumakad. Pagdating mo ng school age, marunong ka ng magsulat. Okay, pagdating mo ng college, marunong ka ng sumayaw. Again, yung development natin is yung quality. Ibig sabihin, increase the function of the child. Ano na yung ginagawa ng bata? Again, yung development, ano na yung ginagawa ng bata? Nagpa-function na ba yung bata? Kaya na bang gawin yung mga gawain pang adult? Again, that's the development. Of course, we have here your um, criteria, your DDST, your Denver Developmental Screening Test. Ito po yung dinadan natin kapag yung pasyente natin, malaman natin if merong mental retardation or merong bang advance yung ang kanyang IQ level. Remember this, nurses, ah, we have your criteria. The normal IQ level of every individual is just only 80 to 120. Parang blood pressure lang. Okay? Parang blood pressure lang siya na 80 to 120. Okay. Kapag superior po tayo, kapag more than 130, bright po tayo. Okay? We are not mentally retarded dito. Pero tanong lang dito, lahat ba tayo dito nakagraduate ng bachelor's degree? Lahat ba tayo dito nurses? Okay? Lahat ba tayo dito international nurses? Yes, claim na natin yan. Bakit? Kasi pasok tayo sa normal IQ level. You cannot graduate, okay? Hindi ka po makakapag-graduate ng elementary, ng primary grade kapag yung IQ level mo ay mababa ng 70. 
Okay? On your abnormal pediatrics, a mentally retarded person, ang mild natin na development or mild natin na IQ level, ang kanyang kayang i-function ay pang grade school lamang. Pang grade 6 lang po. So yan yung pulatandaan natin kapag ikaw ay nakatapos, nakapagtapos ng college, nakapagtapos ng degree, ibig sabihin normal yung IQ level natin. Pero kapag ikaw, okay, kapag nakikita mo yung bata, okay, kapag nakikita mo yung bata, anyang, ang kanyang kayang i-function ay just only for grade 6, okay, yung mga pupil na pang grade 6, ibig sabihin yung bata ay mentally retarded. Okay, i-discuss natin yan further on your abnormal pediatrics on here on IPAS. Okay? Sige. Kapag mild, less than 70. Kapag moderate, 50 to 70. Kapag severe, 20 to 40. And then kapag profound, less than 20. Ito na talaga yung mga sasabi nating imbeciles. Okay? Ito na talaga yung hindi nagpa-function. Okay? Parang dependent na talaga sila sa mother nila. Okay? That's the development. Sige. Proceed tayo. Yung Denver Developmental Screening Test, there are four main categories. Language communication, ano yung ginagamit natin? Marunong ba siya magsalita ng mother tongue? Marunong ba siyang gumamit ng English? Marunong ba siyang gumamit ng Tagalog? Language communication. Next one, personal and social skills. This are the people able to communicate with others. Okay, the interpersonal relationship. Marunong ba sila makahalubilo sa ibang tao? Okay, relatable ba sila? Naiintindihan ba sila ng ibang tao? And of course, your gross motor skills and of course, your fine motor skills. Again, these two are different. Again, gross motor skills and fine motor skills. Gross motor skills, pakilagay sa mga notes natin, ito po siya yung ginagamitan natin ng mga larger body natin. Like for example, yung paa natin. Okay, yung paa, yung katawan natin, okay, general. Okay, that's the term. Gross motor skill are general skills. When we say fine motor skills, these are the specific. Ano yung ibig sabihin nito? Marunong ba tayo magsulat? Kapag marunong po tayo yung lumakad, that is the gross motor skills. Kapag marunong po tayo magsulat, fine motor skills specific lamang sa kamay natin. Naintindihan ba? Again, these are the four main categories of your DBST, language communication, personal and social skills, gross motor skills, and fine motor skills. Now, question lang. Okay, side facts lang tayo. Kapag dito ba sa Pilipinas, ito yung ginagamit natin? Meron ba kayong idea dyan? Kapag dito ba sa Pilipinas, ito yung ginagamit natin? Merong idea? Kapag dito po sa Pilipinas, of course, hindi tayo magpapahuli ng mga Pinoy. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, gumawa ang Pilipinas ng ganito. Ano yung ganito nila? Metro Manila Denver Developmental Screening Test. MMDDST. Okay? Yan yung ginagamit ng mga Pinoy. Okay? Sige, proceed tayo. Okay? Here are your basic divisions in life. Again, here are the basic divisions in life. Your prenatal, infancy, Childhood, middle childhood, and late childhood. Remember this, prenatal, hindi pa pinanganak yung bata dito. From conception to birth. Kapag infancy naman po, neonates. Again, ang infant po natin until one year old. Again, infancy natin until one year old. Okay? Neonates natin 28 days. Again, one lunar month. Pakilagay sa mga notes natin. Kapag sinabi ko pong neonate, ibig sabihin, One lunar month. Kapag sinabing one lunar month, 28 days. Naintindihan ba? That's why on your menstrual cycle, we have one lunar month kapag ano? Kapag kayo ay regular menstruation. Kapag regular menstruation ka, every two weeks, dinadatnan ka. Every 14 days, dinadatnan nga. Kasi kapag regular ka, it is expected you have 28 day cycle. Naintindihan ba? Proceed tayo. Kapag infancy naman po, ito naman po on the 29th to one year old. 29 to 1 year old. Kapag toddler, 1 to 3 years old. Okay? Kapag preschooler naman po, ito po ay 4 to 6 years old. Kapag school age, ito naman po yung mga grade school natin. Yung grade school natin, ito po from 7 to 12 years old. Kapag more than 12, it is already considered what? High school. So kapag high school ka, pre-adolescent. Okay? And then yung adolescent natin, 13 to 21 years old. Okay? Para may... Para may sure ka tayo, ito yung mga palatandaan natin. Okay? Pwede nyo pong makapi ito. Oh, 
right, hold on. Alright? Ito yung palatandaan natin para merong tayong shortcuts. Kasi remember this, if you would take your nursing examinations, hindi yan sasabihin sa, na, sa examination na 3 years old, 5 years old, bihira lang pong lumalabas yan. Ano yung parating lumalabas sa nursing examination? Parating lumalabas infant, toddler, preschooler, school age, sino yung lumalaro ng solitary play, sino yung lumalaro ng parallel play, infant ba, toddler ba, preschooler ba, adolescent pa, yan yung parating lumalabas sa nursing exams. So please, to all the viewers of our live, we have 179 viewers, okay? So please copy this, okay? Pakilagay yan sa mga notes natin para hindi po tayo mawala, okay? Yan yung clue natin. Okay, sige, proceed tayo. Yan. Kapag young adulthood, that's 21 to 30 years old. Middle adulthood, that's 31 to 60 years old. And of course, old adult, ito po yung mga matatanda. Our elderly, I, I'm more than 60 years old. Okay, sige. Pakicopy po. All right, sige. Proceed tayo. Now, isang-isahin natin kung ano yung makikita natin sa bata. Okay? Growth during childhood. Ay, sorry. Okay, isa-isahin natin. Infancy. The normal weight is 69 pounds, 2.5 to 4 kilograms, 2,500 milligrams to 4,000 milligrams. Okay? Yan po yung ating what? Kilo. Okay? Yan po yung ating weight ng bata. Normally, ang male natin is 7.5 pounds and female is 7 pounds. Remember, bones of the males are much heavier than female. Okay? Ano yung nanotis ninyo? Same lang yung body composition ng ba, ng babae at saka yung lalaki, pero kapag kinilo yung dalawa, i-differentiate natin, mas mabigat pa din yung lalaki kahit adult na. Bakit? Kasi nga yung lalaki, yung bone density nila ay malalaki. Ibig sabihin, their bones are much heavier than females. Okay? The normal height would be 19 to 21 inches. I have discussed that earlier. The normal head circumference is 33 to 35 centimeter. Chest circumference, dito yan. It's 31 to 33 centimeters. And abdominal circumference is 31 to 33 centimeters. What have you noticed? Ano yung mas mataas? Ano yung mas malaki? Ulo. Remember this, nurse? Sa kapag bata po yan, kapag infant po yan, kapag neonate po yan, mataas or malaki yung ulo ng bata. Ano yung na-notice ninyo? Sa mga mothers natin dyan, sa ating viewer na mga babae, kapag nag-deliver kayo, kapag lumabas yung ulo, ano yung sinasabi ng doktor? Huwag ka na mag-push, kami na yung bahala. Bakit? Kasi nga, lumabas na yung pinakamalaking parte ng katawan ng bata. So, ibig sabihin, kapag lumabas na ang pinakamalaking parte, Easy na lang. Easy na lang natin yan ipapalabas. Ibig sabihin, kapag lumabas na yung ulo, relax ka na mother, kami na yung bahala ng mga nurses at mga doctor dito na ipag-pull natin or expel natin yung ating bata. Okay? The important person here is the mother. Again, during the infancy, the important person here is the mother. Papasok dyan yung purity ni sino? Ni Eric Erickson. Yung ating trust versus mistrust. Okay? I-discuss natin yan further one by one later. Sige, proceed tayo. Ito yung infant. Ah, diba? It's so cute. Ang ganda tignan kapag bata pa. Pero kapag adult yan, ang tigas na yan ng ulo. Alright? Sige, proceed tayo. Relate na relate tayo dito kasi dumaan tayo sa pagiging bata. Okay? Or hindi man, nakikita natin ito sa mga bata ngayon. Okay? Sige, yung toddler natin, kapag sinabi pong toddler, that's 2 to 3 years old. Again, kapag sinabi ko pong toddler, that's 2 to 3 years old. Ano yung characteristics ng toddler? No. Negativism. Ano yung ibig sabihin nito? Nakaka-relate ba kayo kapag sinabi mo, baby, baby? Sorry. Baby, baby, kain na tayo. Okay? No. Baby, baby, maliligo na tayo. No. Okay? Ayoko. No. Okay? Parating sinasabi ng bata, no. Pakilagay sa mga notes natin, parating sinasabi ng bata, no. 
kapag toddler. Baby, baby, punta tayo kay daddy? No. Baby, baby, uh, la- la- maglaro tayo? No. Okay? Rigid and ritualistic. Ano yung ibig sabihin nito? Ibig sabihin nito, yung mga bata ay meron silang ginagawa. Like for example, before sila matulog, ano yung ginagawa nila? Kailangan meron silang what? Meron silang dumedede sila or hindi man kailangan na sa pi- ang pilo nila, kailangan nakahag sila sa pilo kasi nga meron silang ritual. Kasi kapag hindi yan nila ginawa, hindi sila makakatulog. They feel they are safe kapag ginawa nila yung ritual nila. Next one, independence principle. Dito yan papasok yung theory ni Eric Erikson na autonomy, uh, trust versus mistrust, autonomy versus shame and doubt. Ibig sabihin, kailangan ng bata dito maging autonomous. Kailangan ng bata, meron siyang freedom kung ano yung gusto niyang gawin. Paano natin, ma- paano natin ma-propromote yung independence principle? Ipapasok natin yan ang offer choices. Only two options. What have you noticed earlier? No. Negativism. Ayaw ko. Okay, ayaw ko, mami. No, hindi ako kakain. Ayaw ko. Hindi ako maliligo. Pero kapag sinabi mo sa bata, baby, what do you want? This blue towel or this red towel? Kapag pinili ng bata blue towel, ibig sabihin, maliligo yung bata. Kasi nga, nag, ano, pumili siya ng color blue. Pero kapag sinabi mo sa bata, maliligo na tayo. No yung isasagot niya. Pero kapag pinapili mo siya ng dalawang option, red towel or blue towel question, maliligo ba siya? Yes, maliligo yung bata. That's why we need to promote the independence principle by offering two options. Okay? Now, question ka sa inyo. Ito pa naman. Kapag tinanong mo yung bata, uh, anak, anak, saan mo gustong kumain? Sa Jollibee ba or sa Macdo? Sinabi ng bata, Jollibee, mommy, Jollibee. And then, okay. And then sabi mo, ay, anak, wala pa lang tayong Jollibee dito, Macdo na lang tayo. No question, na-promote ba natin yung independence principle? Hindi. Okay? Autonomy versus shame and doubt. Pagdating ng bata, doon kay Eric Erickson na theory, paglaki ng bata, magiging dependent siya. He cannot stand on his own. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya makaka-decide on his own. Kailangan niya ng ano? Kailangan niya ng decision from other people. Naging dependent po siya and that is based on what? On the Eric Erickson theory, uh, ating um, psychosocial theory by your Eric Erickson. Alright, sige. Next one, encourage to do simple tasks, okay? Or simple decision. Yes, by what? Offering two options. Kapag pina-offer, okay, kapag binigyan natin siya ng option, mabibigyan siya natin ng, ng right or ng way na makapag-decide on her own. Kapag marunong siya mag-decide on her own, ayan yung bata pagtanda, hindi maging dependent. Okay, sige. Next one, physiological anorexia. Preoccupied with food pads. Pakilagay po, physiological anorexia. Pakikapi sa mga notes natin. Ano yung ibig sabihin nito, sir? Okay bang yung bata is anorexic? Okay ba yung bata ay thin? Yes, it's normal. Kasi kapag sinabi po natin physiologic, normal yan. Kapag sinabi po natin pathologic anorexia, pathologic, pathology, meron yang sakit. Physiologic, normal. Bakit normal? They are preoccupied with food pads. Ano yung food? Ito yung mga uso. Kung ano yung nakikita nila sa TV, like for example, nakikita nila yung hotdog. Okay? Yung kakainin nila, hotdog. Kasi nga, yun ang advertise ng hotdog is mga bata. Kung ano yung po yung uso or ano po yung on demand, okay? Or, or the trend sa mga bata, yan po yung kinakain nila. And of course, they are picky eaters. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Single food. Ano yung na-notice ninyo? Ito, relate na relate tayo dito yung mga mga mothers natin. Di ba ano yung na-notice niyo sa mga mother? Magbibigay yan ng isang pinggan. Yung pinggan, merong utan, merong rice, merong hotdog, merong tusino, merong, uh, merong gulay. O, okay, question. Ano yung kinakain ng bata? Hotdog lang. Kasi nga, they are picky eaters. Ito yung characteristics ng bata. Kaya kapag hindi kinain lahat ng, ng bata yung nasa pinggan ng mother, ah sorry, nasa pinggan na prepare ng mother, ano yung ginagawa ng mother? Nagagalit yung mother, okay? Pinapagalitan yung bata. Now remember this, if you are a nurse, if you are an eligible nurse or ikaw knowledgeable na mother, wag mong pilitin or wag mo i-insist na kainin lahat. Bakit? Kasi ang mga toddler are picky eaters. They are preoccupied with food pads. Naintindihan ba? Proceed tayo. Next one is your protrusion of the abdomen. What have you noticed? Yung mga bata, they are thin, 
pero nakauna ang kanilang chan. Bakit? Nakauna ang kanilang chan because their abdominal muscles are not fully developed. Again, their abdominal muscles are not fully developed. The important persons here are the parents, yung mother at saka yung father. Kanina doon sa infant, yung pinaka-importanting tao doon ay the mother. Dito naman, yung pinaka-importanting tao is the parents. Okay? These are the parents, yung pinaka-importanting tao sa table. Okay? Meron bang tanong? Okay, any questions? Kapag wala, proceed tayo. Okay, these are your toddlers yan. Ngayon yung mga toddlers natin. Sige, proceed tayo. Preschoolers. Proceed tayo. Infant, toddler, preschooler. Infant, one years old. Toddler, two to three years old. Preschooler, four to six years old. Again, four to six years old. Ano yung mga characteristics ng preschooler? High level of curiosity. Why? Okay. High level of curiosity. Kung kanina, yung parating sinasabi ng bata is no, negative is dito naman, madaldal yung bata. Dito yung bata na ayaw nang kausapin ng mother kasi yung bata ganito, Mami, Mami, bakit color green yung, yung plants? Mami, Mami, paano ako nabuo? Mami, Mami, ah, ano ito? Bakit ganito, Mami? Okay, yung mother is ano? Yung mother na tatamad sumagot sa bata. Kasi nga, 300 to 400 questions per day. Okay? 300 to 400 questions per day. And of course, they are what? Parang imaginative. Remember this? Preschooler are imaginative. Okay? Disclaimer lang po ha. Ito po. Sino dito na nanonood ng KMJS? Kapuso mo, Jessica Soho. Alright? Nakikita mo yung, yung mga bata na ano? Yung mga bata na sasabihin ng mother na ay, alam mo, yung anak ko, meron siyang kinakausap. Kinakausap eh yung staff toys niya. Merong mga apoy-apoy. At saka meron kaming kinakausap na duwende. Okay, remember this? Preschoolers are imaginative. Ibig sabihin, they have a creative thinking. Nakikita mo yung mga bata, kinakausap, kinakausap nila yung staff toys. So kapag yan yung lumabas sa kapuso mo, Jessica Soho, huwag niyong paniwalaan. Bakit? The mother is not knowledgeable. Okay? Kapag ikaw knowledgeable ka at alam mo na ang preschooler ay what? Imaginative, creative thinking, hindi mo papaniwalaan na meron silang kinakausap na duwende. Okay? Huwag kayang ganon. They are imaginative. Next one is your dark places. Yung dark places natin, ito po yung glow in the dark stickers. What have you noticed? Ito, family planning. On your abnormal uh, abnormal OB, eh, they discuss natin yung ating um, family planning. On the family planning, kailangan po tayo may space or may gap. Okay, kapag tayo ay merong uh, bubuntis, okay, meron dapat tayong gap or distance tayo doon. Diyan papaso, kapag ikaw ay nabuntis ngayon, after three years, nabuntis ka. Normal yan, okay yan, good yan. But remember, dito yan papasok yung sibling rivalry. Bakit? Kapi, kasi yung sibling rivalry, feeling ng kuya, feeling niya ay meron na akong kapatid, hindi na ako love. Okay? Hindi na ako love ng kapatid ko. So, ibig sabihin, meron na akong kahati sa love ng parents ko. Okay? Remember this, nurse, sa huwag dapat ganun yung mindset ng bata mo. Ano yung dapat gawin niya? Kailangan, ay, excited ako kasi may, meron na akong sister, meron na akong kapatid, okay? Meron na akong bunso, ay, sorry, meron na akong uh, younger sister, okay? Dapat yan yung mindset ng bata. Kailangan siyang excited. Now, Paano natin ma-prevent -pre yung jealousy ng bata? Okay, paano natin ma-prevent? -pre Ito siya. Remember this na sa before ang mother makapanganak, before ang mother mag-deliver, kasi kapag nag-deliver yung mother, sino yung mag-aalaga sa newborn? Yung mother. So, ibig sabihin, yung attention ng bata nasa newborn, as attention ng mother nasa newborn na. So, ibig sabihin, yung kuya, mapapabayaan. So dapat this time before mag-deliver yung mother, kailangan yung yung kuya ay mari, mayroon na siyang sariling room. Mayroon na siyang sariling uh, kwarto or room na doon siya magsistay. Okay? So ibig sabihin um, before ang delivery, kailangan sabihin ng mother na kuya, uh, matanda ka na, you are brave, okay? Dadating na yung sister mo, yung younger sister mo. So kailangan dito ka na sa own room mo kasi kuya ka na. Okay? Dito ka na magsistay. Paano yan? Kasi during preschooler, they are imaginative. They are creative thinkers. Ano yung, pinag, uh, ano yung, ano yung pumapasok sa utak nila? Merong monsters. Okay. Merong monsters. Merong mga multo. Yan yung pumapasok nila. 
Pero kapag linagyan niyo po yan ng glow-in-the-dark stickers, hindi yan sila matatakot. Again, hindi yan sila matatakot kasi nga merong glow-in-the-dark stickers. Okay? They are... um. Ayan yung way nila para hindi sila matakot kasi nakita nila ay merong stars hindi masyadong madulong okay? hindi masyadong uh, dark yung place okay siga proceed tayo next one are imitative again imitative ano yung mga notice niyo dito sino dito nakapunta sa mga daycare center okay sino dito yung nakapunta sa mga daycare center natin ano yung, no, 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 ano yung na-notice natin sa mga daycare center is that kapag merong teacher, for example lang ha, hindi ko nilalahat ito. Kapag merong baklang teacher, ano yung ginagawa ng mga preschooler? Kapag yung teacher nila pumapaypay na ganito, ano yung ginagawa ng mga student? Gumagalito ganito din. Kapag yung bakla maglakad ganito, okay, ano yung ginagawa ng, ano, ng preschooler? Ginaganito ganito din. They are imitative. Yung mga preschooler natin are imitative. So ikaw, kapag ikaw yung guro at saka pikon ka, or let me say na uh, hindi ka ganun ka sports in terms of that, you don't understand the nature of preschooler, I for sure, magagalit ka talaga. Okay? Sige, proceed tayo. Perform least invasive procedure. Nurses, what is the most least invasive procedure. Among the vital signs, ano yung pinaka-list? Okay. Well, maraming tumatawa, no? Kasi relate na relate tayo dyan. <laughs> Sige. Ano ang pinaka-list invasive na procedure? Meron ba? Among the vital signs, temperature, a blood pressure, RR, ano pa ba? Uh, pulse rate. Ano, ano yung pinaka-least invasive? The least invasive is the respiratory rate. Kahit nakatayo lang ako dito, kaya kong malaman kung magkano yung respiratory rate mo. Again, perform the least invasive procedure. Yan yung parating lumalapas sa nursing exams. Okay? Explorative, age of discovery, sense of purpose and direction. Initiative versus skill. Balik tayo doon sa itaas. Sabi ka sa inyo kanina, high level of curiosity. Why? Okay. Paano kapag sinabi ng bata sa'yo, anak, ah, mommy, mommy, paano ako nagawa? Question, sasagutin mo ba? Sasagutin mo ba yung tinanong sa'yo ng bata? Yes. Sasagutin mo kung ano yung tinatanong ng bata, but not in what? Not in the, let me say, not in concrete way, or let me say, not in abstract way. Sabihin mo sa bata, Mami, Mami, paano ako nagawa? Okay, anak, nagawa ka namin out of love ng daddy mo. So kami ng daddy mo, nagmahalan kami, and then uh, ikaw yung nagbunga ng pagmamahal namin. Okay, ibig sabihin, nasagot mo yung question. Pero hindi mo sabihin doon na, alam mo ba anak, ginawa ka namin ng daddy mo, pumunta kami dito sa hotel na to, and then ayun na, doon na, doon ka na namin ginawa. Huwag ganun. Why? Because according, okay, according to Jin PJ, si Jin PJ, siya po yung theorist natin on what? Cognitive development. Yan po yung development ng pata natin, yung pag-iisip natin. Remember this, that concrete thinking pumapasok sa school age. Abstract thinking pumapasok sa adolescence. That's why your, um, let me say your, um, ano nga, yung sex education must be included sa mga college na at saka high school. Kasi nga, they have what? Abstract thinking na. Sa preschooler, kailangan mong sagutin lahat ng tanong ng bata. Pero remember this, hindi kailangan literal na sagot mo. Like for example, yun yung sabi ko sa inyo. Paano, siya nag paano, paano ako nagawa, mami? Nagawa ko ikaw, nagawa ka namin out of love ng daddy mo. Okay? Next, proceed tayo. Conscience begins here. Again, Conscience begins here. According to Lawrence Kohlberg, sino si Lawrence Kohlberg? Si Lawrence Kohlberg ang gumawa ng ano? Ng moral development. Okay? I-discuss yan natin farther. Okay? According to Lawrence Kohlberg, the conscience begins at what? Begins at five years old. Okay? That's why sa theory ni Lawrence Kohlberg, yung pre-conventional nagsastart sa preschooler. Hindi yan nagsastart sa infant. Okay? Bakit? Alam niyo ba yung difference ng id, ego, at, sa, at saka super ego? On your psychiatric nursing, alam niyo ba yung difference ng id, ego, at saka super ego? Ano yung difference nila? Remember this, id, one word, simplest word, pleasure. Ego, reality. Yan yung reality natin. 
super ego conscience. So, ibig sabihin, tanong ko sa inyo, sino yung unang nabubuo? Versus, sino yung nag- unang nabubuo? Id, ego, or super ego? Sino yung unang nabubuo? Is it id, ego, or super ego? Naran ba dyan? Ano yung mga sagot natin? Okay. Okay. The correct answer here, ang una pong nabubuo is id. Di ba yung definition ng id pleasure? Ano, gust, ano yung gusto ng mga neonate? Gusto nila pleasure. Kapag sila umiyak, kailangan mo bigyan ng dede. Okay, kailangan mo yan padedeen. So kasi nga, kailangan nila pleasure lang. Lahat ay pleasure. Pero yung super ego, pumapasok kapag yan ay five years old. Yan, tama. Eid yung una. Okay, tama yung mga sagot ninyo. Pumapasok lang po yung ating super ego kapag tayo po ay five years old. Kasi dito na yan, papasok yan. Yan, mali ang ginawa mo. Is, uh, isasabihin ko yan kay mami mo. Mali yan, i iyak yung bata. Kasi nga, dito na yan bumubuo yung konsensya ng bata. Okay? Next one. We are active but slim. Kung kanina, doon sa ating in toddler, sa toddler natin, they have the protrusion of abdomen at saka physiologic anorexia. Dito naman sa ating preschooler, they are active but slim. Dito yan yung parang sasabihin natin, parang merong ADHD. Okay? Pero hindi. They are just active. And of course, the important person here are the siblings. Bakit? Kung kanina, parents, ngayon ka, infant, parents, Infant toddler is your uh sorry infant is the mother the toddler is the parent sa preschooler is the siblings bakit di ba naaalala niyo sa types of play ano yung types of play ng preschooler yung types of play ng preschooler is what Co- uh, associative sa infant solitary isa mag-isa yung bata naglalaro sa infant sa toddler dalawa sila naglalaro pero parallel ano yung ibig sabihin laro ka laro ako dito laro ka diyan Paralel. Pero sa preschooler dito, kasi nga meron na siyang younger sister at saka meron siyang older brother. Ano yung important person dito? Siblings because they are ano associative. Nagsishare na sila ng toys. Again, nagsishare na sila ng toys. That's why the important person here are the siblings. Alright, proceed tayo. Yan. As you can see, ano yung important person? Siblings kasi nga yung type of play sa mga preschooler is what? Associative. Okay, nag-uusap-usap na sila. Teamwork, kumbaga, teamwork. Alright, sige, proceed tayo. Next one is your school age, okay? Next one is the school age. School age are industrious and competitive, okay? Dito yan papasok yung trust versus mission, autonomy versus um, initiative versus skill, industry versus inferiority. Sa school age natin, industry versus inferiority, dyan papasok yung theory ni Eric Erickson. Okay? Sense of pleasure and accomplishment give rewards, give material things. Okay? Sin- sinabi sa'yo, example, Junjun, punta ka nga dito. Okay? Junjun, punta ka nga dito. Bilhan mo nga ako ng toyo doon sa kay tita nene. Kay tita nene mo, bilhan mo ako doon. Okay? Isang, isang, uh, isang toyo lang. Okay? Binigyan mo yung bata ng 10 pesos. Yung toyo is just only 8 pesos. Pagbalik yan ng bata, okay, hindi yan aalis. Hindi yan aalis kapag hindi mo binigay yung 2 pesos. Bakit? They give rewards. Give material things. Okay? Next one. Ano yun, ano pa? Kapag yung bata nung grade school ka, okay, kapag yung bata nung grade school ka, um, ano yung ginagawa ng mother mo para mag... mag um, magtutok let me say paano ba bisaya kasi ako no ang hirap ng language barrier natin para maging um let me say para maging seryoso ka sa studies mo ano yung sinasabi ng parents mo sasabihin niya uh, always ng parents mo na ana kapag mag top 10 ka ana kapag mag top 1 ka bibilhan kita ng Game Boy ah sino dito yung relate na relate diyan Okay, sino yung mga nakarelate dyan? anak kapag naging top 10 ka kakain tayo sa Jollibee Okay, sense of pleasure and accomplishment. Give rewards, give material things. Diyan papasok yung school age natin. Bakit? Kasi ang ang feeling ng bata dito, kapag may na-accomplish siya, ang sarap pala sa feeling. So bibigyan ako ng gift. Okay? Diyan papasok, yes, buy the rewards. Very good. Reward. Kailangan may reward dito. Anak, kapag nag-top, kapag nag-top 10 ka, bibigyan kita ng award. Papasok yung reward, 
dito sa school age. Next one, girls are more taller than boys. Bakit? Sino yung una nagmamature? Babae, lalaki. Again, sino yung unang nagmamature? Babae, lalaki. Babae yung una nagmamature. That's why kanina doon sa ating length, sino yung responsible ng maturity ng babae? Estrogen. Sino yung responsible sa maturity ng lalaki? Testosterone. Sino yung una nagmamature? Babae. That's why girls are more taller than boys. Na notice niyo ba? Uh, na notice niyo ba na yung mga school age natin um medyo mga matataas yung mga babae? Pero yung mga lalaki, mga medyo maliliit. Okay, mga maliliit sila. E yung sinasabi nila kapag hindi pa tuli yung lalaki, okay, yan yung sabi nila. Okay, it's a myth. Okay? Yung sinasabi nila kapag hindi pa tuli yung lalaki, ah, sorry, kapag natuli yung lalaki, tumataas yung lalaki. Okay? Merong sang spurt ng growth. Okay? Parang merong sudden growth yung mga lalaki. But remember this ha, una pong nagmamature yung babae. Okay? Paano natin malalaman na yung babae ay mature na? Ano yung mga palatandaan? Telar. Ano yung telar? Breast body. Relate na relate tayo dito kapag meron kayong anak na school age. Ito yung parang tumitigas yung dede, parang masakit. Okay? That's what you call breast buddings. Again, that's what you call your breast buddings. Kapag lumabas yung pubic hair, yan yung pubic hair ng mga bata, okay? nagmamature na yan. But remember this, paano sir malaman kapag yung lalaki ay yung babae ay mature na? Paano malaman kapag pwede nang mabuntis yung mga babae? Kapag meron na po siyang menstruation. Menar. Menar is the last sign na ay pwede na mabuntis si nene. Okay? Ay pwede na mabuntis si nene kasi nga dinatnan na siya. Meron na siyang menstruation. Alright? Sige, proceed tayo. Paano naman yung mga lalaki? Okay? Paano natin malalaman yung mga lalaki? Remember, unang nagmamature yung babae kesa sa lalaki. That's why uh, huli, okay, let me say na uh, late, yung sudden, late yung growth ng mga lalaki kasi nga testosterone yung responsible for the growth of the male. Okay? Ano, paano natin malalaman na meron na siyang what? Meron na siyang uh, mature na ang kanyang sexuality sa mga lalaki. First one, development of testes and its structure. Ibig sabihin na form na yan, lumalaki na yung, tete, uh, yung titi ng lalaki. Lumalaki, enlargement of penis. Okay? Darkening of the scrotal area. Okay? Sa so may mga boyfriend dyan, okay? Or sa so may mga asawa dyan, check nyo nga. Okay? Check nyo nga yung, yung husband ninyo if maitim yung kanyang itlog. Normal po yan. Darkening of the scrotal area is considered normal kasi ka develop, mature. Pwede ka mabuntis ng asawa mo. Pero kapag yung scrotal area niya hindi madilim, or sorry, hindi maitim, oh sorry, sorry, hindi maitim ang kanyang scrotal area, baka hindi pa mature. Ang kanyang what? Ang kanyang testes. Okay? Ah, sorry, ang kanyang maturity ng kanyang Uh, reproductive age. Okay, reproductive system rather. Next one, appearance of pubic hair. Kapag meron na yung lumalabas na mga pubic hair, pubic hair na yan, ibig sabihin nagde-develop na yan. And of course, lastly, presence of viable sperm. Okay? Nurses, listen carefully. Kapag meron po kayong anak, okay? Kapag meron po kayong anak and then hindi siya nag-masturbate ng gabi, pero pagkagising ng umaga, the following day, nakita mo merong lumalabas na ano, na puti-puti. Okay, merong lumalabas na puti-puti. Yan po ay sperm. Hindi nag-masturbate yung lalaki, ha? Remember that. Hindi nag-masturbate yung bata, pero merong lumabas. That's what you call your nocturnal emission, wet dreams. Kapag meron nang lumalabas, ibig sabihin, mature na. Pwede na makabuntis si Toto. Again, pwede na makabuntis si Toto kapag meron na siyang nocturnal emission. Question, what is the sign, okay, peculiar sign na yung babae pwedeng mabuntis? Ano yung sign na pwede na mabuntis yung babae? Si Nene, pwede na siyang mabuntis. Okay, medyo delay tayo sa Facebook pero okay lang. As long as we are able to uh, discuss properly our topics, okay tayo doon. May learning ba? Okay, kapag may learning, tama yan. Very good yan. Okay, very good. Minor, menstruation. That's the last sign na masasabi natin ay pwede nang mabuntis si nene. Okay? Kapag lalaki, kapag lalaki naman po, nocturnal emission. Again, kapag lalaki po, nocturnal emission, presence of viable sperm. Ibig sabihin po nito, ay pwede na, pwede na makabuntis si Toto kasi may lumalabas na. Okay? Na may lumalabas na sa kanya. 
Okay, proceed tayo. Okay, yan po yung ating school page. Okay, proceed tayo on your motor and social development. Again, proceed tayo on your motor and social development. Sabi ko nun kanina sa DDST natin, meron po tayong kinatawag na gross and motor. Kapag gross, general. Okay, larger body yung ginagamit natin dito. Kapag fine motor, specific. Okay, kapag fine motor, specific. Isa-isahin natin. On the first month, head lag. Head turn side to side and follows midline. Ano yung nanonotice ninyo sa mga bata? Kapag newborn. Ganito yung bata. Okay. Alright. Okay. Yan yung bata kasi nga meron siyang head lag. Hindi yan makontrol ng kanyang ulo. Okay. No gain. Okay. No head control. Okay. Next one. On the second month, okay, On the second month, lifts head when prone. Ano yung ibig sabihin nito? Ganito siya. Lifts head when prone. Question. Alam niyo ba yung sakit na seeds? Okay, sudden infant death control. Ah, sorry, sudden infant death syndrome. Okay, remember this. Seeds, sudden infant death syndrome. Ito yung disorder sa mga bata na upon autopsy, kapag namatay yung bata, upon autopsy, hindi natin malalaman kung ano yung cause ng kanyang kinamatay. Okay? Upon autopsy, all vital organs are normal. Walang problema. Maganda siya. Pero ano yung problema sa seeds? Sa seeds kasi, hindi na-deprive siya sa oxygen. So, ibig sabihin, kapag ano yung cause? Causes. Okay, stuff toys. Okay, ano pa yung mga causes dito? Um, pillows. Okay, pillows, prone position. Okay, yan yung mga causes niya. Bakit? Kapag naka-prone position tayo, remember, common yung seed, yung say, ang seeds na sakit. Okay, peak, two months. Remember this, yung peak, okay, remember this, nurses, ha? yung seeds natin, yung peak niya is sudden infant death syndrome. Okay, sudden infant death syndrome, yung peak nito is 2 months. So, ibig sabihin, remember this, sa kanyang larger body, sa kanyang gross motor, second month, lifts head when prone. So, ibig sabihin, nakaganito yung bata. Okay, yung, yung kanyang ulo lang. Kapag siya ay naka, ano, nakatalik, uh, kapag siya ay lying on his chest. Okay, kapag nakaganito siya, prone. Okay, nakaprone siya, ang kanyang lang ulo, ang kanyang may lift. Question, makakapag-feel ba ng... Um, tiredness or magiging um, fatigue ba yung bata kapag prolong ang kanyang pag, pag lift ng head? Yes. So, ibig sabihin, kapag prolong ang kanyang lift ng head, mawawalan siya ng gana, magpo-prone position siya. Kapag naka-prone position yung bata, mawawalan siya ng oxygen dito kasi nga, hindi pa maka, hindi pa siya makapag-roll, hindi pa siya makapag-lift okay, ng ulo niya. So, kapag nawalan siya ng oxygen, yan yung problema natin sa seeds. Sudden infant death syndrome, walang problema apag autopsy, yung cause nito ay staph toys. Kapag sa loob ng crib, merong mga lalaki ng staph toys at saka didat nang siya sa ulo dito, hindi niya makuha, okay? Hindi niya makuha, deprived ng oxygen. Pillows. That's why kapag nasa sulo, sa loob ng crib, bawal yung malalaking pillow. Kasi kapag merong malaking pillow, pwede niya makadat na, okay, mawala siya ng oxygen. And of course, the prone position. The safest, okay, the safest position will be supine. Okay? The safest position here will be supine. Okay? Next one. On the third month, lifts his head and chest when prone. Ibig sabihin, kapag naka-prone position yung bata, kaya niya lang i-lift Hanggang sa chest. On the fourth month, question. Okay. Mawawala ba yan? Yes. Yung bata, kapag kinuha mo yung bata, nagagalitan na yung bata. Kaya niya nang i-control ang kanyang head. Fifth, it will, a fifth is rolls from prone to supine. Again, rolls from prone to supine. Sige, proceed tayo. Sandali, nawawala yung mouse ko. That's my problem here kasi nawawala yung mouse. Alright, sige, proceed tayo. Next one, on the sixth month, sit with support. Nurses, please copy this kasi parati itong lumalabas sa nursing exam. On the sixth month, sit with support. Ibig sabihin, nakaupo lang yung bata at saka merong mga pillow dyan sa gilid, makakaupo siya. Pero question, 
hin makakaupo ba siya na walang support? No. Hindi siya makaka makakaupo ng walang support kasi matutumba yung bata. Rolls from supine to prone, ibig sabihin, kapag yung bata ay naka, uh, nakalay sa kanyang, sa kanyang back, kaya na mag-prone position. On the seventh month, sit without support momentarily. So, ibig sabihin, kapag kinuha mo yung uh, pillow, okay, kapag kinuha mo yung pillow, makakaupo siya, pero matutuba siya. Okay, matutumba siya. But remember this, paki-highlight sa mga notes natin. Six months, sit with support. Eight months, sit unsupported. Kahit walang support, kahit walang pillow, makakaupo siya. On the ninth month, yung bata natin marunong na siyang ano, mag-crawl. Okay? On the tenth month, okay, stand with support. Yung bata dito, makakatayo. As long as, um, as, long as meron siyang support, um, uh, hinahawakan siya ng mother, okay? Hinahawakan siya ng ng kanyang uh, siblings, okay na kanyang kuya, makakatayo siya. Remember this, on the 11th month cruises. Ano yung ibig sabihin nito? Yung cruises natin ito po yung parang nakatayo yung bata, nakatayo yung bata at saka na gumaganito ganito sa mga sa mga furnitures. Yung parang lumalakad yung bata because of the furniture. At saka dito din yan papasok yung crawling. So combination ito ng nakatayo yung bata, crawl tayo yung bata at saka magpupunta sa mga furnitures and then crawl ulit. Combinations of crew, uh, crawling at saka standing and of course walking. 12 months. Stand alone, walks with assistance. No question. Stand alone, walks with assistance. Makakalakad ba siya? Na siya lang isa? Hindi. Ibig sabihin, makakatayo siya at saka makakalakad siya as long as meron siyang support. Pero on the 15 month, walks with, uh, sorry, walks alone. Question. When is the best time to do your toilet training? Nurses, when is the best time to do your toilet training? When is the best time to do your toilet training? All right. That would be on the 15th month. Again, the best time to do your toilet training is the 15th month. Kasi yung toilet na, toilet training natin, meron po tayong criterion doon. Criterion doon. At saka ang isang criteria, criteria doon ay what? Walks alone. Makakapaglakad yung bata. Bakit? Makapag-toilet training ka ba kapag yung bata hindi marunong lumakad? Hindi. Kasi bakit? Kasi... Like toilet training ka nga, sabihin mo sa bata na, anak, huwag ka ditong umihi, ah. mag-ihi ka doon sa CR. Okay? Punta ka doon sa CR, tsaka doon ka mag-ihi. Okay? Doon ka magpupo. Okay? Doon ka magdumi. So, ibig sabihin, kapag yung bata hindi pa marunong maglakad, hindi mo pa, pa yan, mapa, ma, hindi mo pa, pa yan ma, mapa to toilet training. Kasi nga, hindi pa, siya naka, hindi pa siya marunong maglakad. Pero kapag yung bata marunong siyang maglakad, pwede na siyang toilet training. Parating lumalabas sa nursing exam is when is the earliest time possible na mag-toilet training tayo. Okay? When is the earliest possible time na pwede tayong mag-toilet training? Yan po yung 12 months. At the age of 1 year old, pwede tayong mag-toilet training dito kasi makakalakad yung bata with assistance. But remember, kailangan by 15 month yung bata makapaglakad na siyang alone. Kapag hindi siya makapaglakad ng alone, ibig sabihin yung bata mo is medyo delay. Okay? Medyo delay yan. Pero question, is it a good thing ba na kapag 12 months pa lang makakapaglakad na yung bata mo alone? Yes, it's a good thing. Kasi advance siya. Huwag lang siyang madelay. Again, nurses ha, pwedeng mag-advance yung bata sa developmental stage natin, sa de developmental milestone ng bata, pero hindi pwedeng mag-delay. Kasi kapag nag-delay yung bata, ibig sabihin, meron po siyang problema. Alright? Sige. Ito po yung guide natin. Okay? Guide natin ito. Okay, next one. Yung fine motor natin, kanina gross motor, that is what? That is what your general, lahat ng katawan natin ginagamit natin dito. Yung fine motor natin, kamay. Okay, specific natin, kamay dito. Now, ano yung palatandaan ng fine motor natin? I want everyone to copy this. Okay, ito yung mga ginagawa natin para hindi po makalimutan ng mga students. Easy yung understanding natin, easy yung retention. Hand, okay, on the, on the second month, first, first and second months, hands close. Nakaganito yung bata. Okay? Nakaganito yung kamay ng bata. On the fourth month, okay? On the fourth month, voluntarily grasp. Ibig sabihin, yung bata na yung kumukuha ng gamit. Okay? Siya na yung kumukuha ng gamit. Noon, nilalagay natin yung kamay natin dito para mag-grasp siya dito. Kasi nga, close ang kanyang kamay. But on the fourth month, siya na yung kumukuha. Siya na yung kumukuha ng dede niya. Okay? Siya na yung kumukuha ng kanyang towel or kahit anong, kahit anong laruan dyan. Okay? That on the fourth month. 
on the six month transfer from one hand to another. So, ibig sabihin, kung siya naka-close and then voluntarily grasp, pwede yun ang matransfer ang kanyang dede. Okay? Again, pwede yun ang matransfer ang kanyang dede from one hand to another. Okay? Next one. Ninth month, pincer grass. Ito yung kamay niya. Ito yung ating mga um, fingers natin. Yung fing ang pincer grass natin, ito po siya. Like for example, this is the this is the pen. If this is the pen and then kinuha ko siya, okay, pincer grass, pero nakuhulog. Okay? Again, kinuha ko siya, pero nakuhulog. Ibig sabihin, parang meron pa lang siyang idea kung paano siya gamitin. Kapag sinabi ko pong neat, Pincer grass. Again, remember the word neat pincer grass. Kapag kinuha ko po yung kama, sorry, kinuha ko kama, kinuha ko po yung ball pen na ito at saka hindi siya nalaglag, marunong na ako mag-pins. Okay? Ibig sabihin, expert na ako. Again, on the 12 month, dapat yung bata expert na tayo dito. Again, ito yung palatandaan natin. 2, 4, 6, 10, 12. Again, 2, 2, 4, 6, 10, 12. Twelve, okay? Basta 2, 4, 6, 10, 12. Ito siya. Hands close, voluntarily grasp, transfer from one hand to another. Pincer grasp, neat pincer grasp. Pag sinabi ko pong neat pincer grasp, ibig sabihin expert na siya. Marunong na siya. Sagad na siyang kumuha ng mga gamit. Okay? Again, hands close, voluntarily grasp, transfer from one hand to another. Pincer grasp, neat pincer grasp. Okay, naintindihan pa. Yan po yung ating fine motor development. Proceed tayo. Now, proceed tayo on your social developmental milestone. Kung kanina, doon po tayo sa motor. Okay, doon tayo sa uh, growth ng bata. Okay, proceed tayo on your social developmental milestone. On the first month, ito po yung nagka-cry yung bata. Oha. Okay, pakilagay sa mga notes natin. Nurses, pakilagay sa mga notes natin. Cry, lusty, vigorous cry. Again, cry, uh, uh, loud, lusty, vigorous cry. Loud, lusty, vigorous cry. Ito siya, sandali. Okay. Loud, lusty, vigorous cry. Ano yung ibig sabihin ito? And oha pala, sorry. Oha. Again, yung bata, ganito siya kapag siya ay nag-iiyak on the first man. Oha! 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 Again, loud, lusty, vigorous cry. Yan yung, ihak ng, yan yung iyak ng bata on the first man. Okay? Oha! 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 Oh, relate na relate tayo kasi nakaka-experience tayo ng ganito. And of course, may smile. May smile, ibig sabihin, alam natin na parang magsasmile siya na parang hindi. Okay? Parang ganon. On the second month, remember dito, sino dito yung may mga kuto? Ha, sino yung may mga kuto? Wala? Okay, very good. Kasi yung kuto natin, eh, hindi yan tama. Okay? This is, uh, sakit po yan. Okay? Uh, um, hindi tayo, hindi tayo, I mean like, our, hindi tayo clean. And not, not, not necessarily na ganun, but we need to take care of our skull. Okay? Ang ating ulo, kailangan natin yan i-take care. Okay? So kapag meron kayong kuto, please, 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 kailangan nyo yung may gawin kayo. Okay? Remember this. Ku, 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 kuto. Okay? Ku, tu, tu. Kuto. Sino din may mga kuto dito? Kapag meron kayong kuto, remember that's, that's your cooing sound. On the second month, papasok yung cooing sound. Ano yung cooing sound? Ku, 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 ku. Yan yung iyak ng bata on the second month. Ku, ku, ku. Ku, ku to second month. Okay? And of course, social smile. Ma, let me say na the, the, the kid here or the, DNA, or the infant here loves to smile. Okay? Social smile. Next one, third. Okay? Kanina, ku to, third, bubbling. Ilan yung letter B? Tatlo yung letter B. Ano yung makikita ninyo sa iyak ng bata dito? B, 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 B. Yan yung parating sound na sinasabi ng bata. Para nagbabubbles yung bata. Bubbling sound. Okay? On the fourth month, enjoy social interaction. Okay? Enjoy social interaction. The kid here, okay, or the infant here, wants to uh, interact with other people. Dito na yung papasok yung parang, ah, sige, doon ka nakikita mo. Okay? Dito ka na kay kuya mo. Okay? Dito ka na sa kapitbahay natin. Okay? Dito ka na. Okay? We, we idolize you. Okay? Parang, transfer, transfer natin. And then, parang inuulit natin yung parang sabihin natin na we like to have fun with the kid. Gustong-gusto yan ng bata. Enjoy social interaction. 
on the fifth month, smile at the mirror. Yan. Yung parang um, pinagtatawanan niya kung sino yung nakikita niya sa mirror, pero hindi niya alam na siya pala iyon. Okay? Smile at the mirror. On the sixth month, vocalization. Dito na yan lumalabas yung batang nagsasalita. Okay? Dito na sa start na merong sound. Okay, bakit? Sa anong month lumalabas yung ating ngipin? Lumalabas yung ngipin natin on the sixth month, that is your lower sixth month, your lower central incisor. Okay? Yan, dito yan. Yung baba ng ngipin natin, yan yung unang lumalabas. Lumalabas yan on the sixth month. Okay? Di ba kapag yung, ay, yung ngipin natin, Okay, remember this nurse sa yung ngipin natin, meron po yung importance sa pag-pronounce at saka pag-enunciate natin ng words. So ibig sabihin kapag meron ka pong um, sira yung ngipin mo dito, for example, uh, merong sira yung yung ngipin mo sa unahan, parang mag-pronounce ka ng isang letter, parang merong hangin. Okay? Kaya lumalabas yung vocalization on the sixth month kasi nga nag-produce sa tayo or yung bata dito ay nagpapalabas ng ngipin. Okay, kaya vocalization is the cue here. Six month is lower central incisor. That's the first thing na lumalabas sa ngipin ng mga bata at dito papasok yung vocalization. Naintindihan ba? Alright, proceed tayo. On the seven month, begins stranger anxiety. Again, begin stranger anxiety. Kung kanina, doon sa fourth month, gustong gusto ng bata makipag-interact sa ibang tao. Pero pagdating ng seventh month, ayaw niya na. Kasi dito lang bibigyan yung stranger anxiety. Kapag hindi niya kilala, kapag hindi niya yung mother, hindi niya yung father niya, hindi yung siblings niya, hindi yan pupunta sa iyo. Kasi nga, meron siyang stranger anxiety. And of course, dito yung love na love ng bata, yung peekaboo. Yung peekaboo yung ganun, peekaboo. Okay, yung peekaboo. Okay, yung bata dito is parang let me say na gustong-gustong inuulit. Okay, binaram ng peekaboo. Okay, peekaboo is best on the seventh month. On the eighth month, that's the peak. Okay, remember nurses ha? On the eighth month, that's the peak of your stranger anxiety. So, ibig sabihin, ayaw niyang ipahawak sa iba. Ayaw niyang mag-interact sa ibang tao. Remember that. On the 10th month, able to say two words. Ano yung dalawang words na sinasabi ng mother, ng bata dito? Mama at saka dada. Or pwede din papa. Mama, dada. Okay? Papa, mama, mama. Remember this. On the 10th month, able to say two words. Okay? Proceed tayo. Next one. Um, social development on the 12 month, ito po siya. Remember this, nurse, sa pakitake ng notes. Able to say four words. Mama, papa, dada, okay? Or ano pa dyang, anong words na kaya niyang able na, uh, kanyang able na masabi. Basta four words na. Mama, dada, papa, or any words na kaya niyang sabihin. Okay? Remember this, nurse, sa 15 months, okay? Sandali. 15 months. Lumalabas po sa ating examinations yung ating blocks. Yung Lego. Nakakita mo kayo ng mga blocks. Yung parang ganito-ganito siya. Okay? Yung parang mga building blocks. Remember it sa yung Lego natin or yung building blocks natin, lumalabas yan kasi nasa libro yan. Remember, objective tayo dito. Kapag nursing examinations, it may be on the Middle East, it may be on NCLEX or kahit anong examination yan, objective tayo. Remember this nurse sa nakalagay sa libro ni Piliteri, okay si Piliteri yung book natin. Sabi niya, yung building blocks ay may purpose yan sa bata. Anong purpose ng building blocks? Yung building blocks kasi ni-stimulate ng bata yung critical thinking ng bata kung paano maging creative yung bata. Kaya that's why lumalabas yung Lego natin, yung mga building blocks. Okay, sige isa-isahin natin. Paki-take down notes, 15 months, 18 months at saka 2 years old. 15, 18, 24 months. 15, 18, 24 months. Under 15 months, two cubes pa lang. Ibig sabihin, kaya niya mag-build mag, mag ng dalawang cubes. Kaya, kaya niya i-organize or let me say, kaya niya i-block um, or kaya niya gumawa ng building two cubes pa lang. Pero by the 18 months, kaya niya three, three to four cubes at saka by two years old, marami ng cubes yung ginagamit niya. That would be six to eight cubes. Okay? Remember this kasi lumalabas po ito sa ating nursing examinations. Okay? Sige. Proceed tayo on your 15 month. Uses CP cup well. Question, ano yung CP cup? Yung CP cup po natin, ganito po siya. 
Ah, sorry. Ah. Okay. Paano ba? Sandali. Ah, sandali. Hindi ako madunong. Sandali. <laughs> okay. Yan. Yan po yung CP Cup natin. Question ko sa inyo, nakakita ba kayo ng bata na binigyan mo siya ng baso or binigyan mo siya ng, ng glass na hindi siya, wala siyang kinakaptan or, or wala siyang hinahawakan. Okay? Kapag wala siyang hinahawakan, for sure, makuhulog yan. For sure, masisira yan. Magkakaroon ng spill. Pero, kapag yung bata, binigay mo sa kanya yung sippy cup, yung nakaganito yung bata, okay, tsaka inumin niya yung tubig, yan, ibig sabihin, uses sippy cup well kapag yung binigay mo sa kanya na cup is a sippy cup. Ibig sabihin, maganda ang kanyang pag-inom ng tubig. And of course, temper tantrum begins here. Temper tantrums. Kapag ba yung bata nag-temper tantrums, ano yung gagawin ng bata? Ignore the child ba? Ignore the child ba, nurses? Temper tantrums. Nagagalit yung bata. Okay, nasa peak ng anger yung bata. Ano yung gagawin ng mater? Ignore the child ba? Remember this, Tersa, ignore lang po natin yung behavior ng bata but hindi po yung bata itself. Anong ibig sabihin nun, sir? Hayaan lang natin na magalit yung bata pero wag nating hayaang mawala sa paningin natin yung bata. Like for example, nasa mall kayo. Yung bata, gusto-gusto ng bata na mag bumili ng laruan. Okay, gustong-gusto niyang bumili ng laruan. Remember this, wag mong okay, ignore the behavior. Hayaan mo lang kung ano yung ginagawa niya if nagagalit siya, okay, if nagkakaroon siya ng uh, ano ba? If nagagalit siya, if meron siyang temper tantrum, hayaan mo lang. But never ignore the child. You need to look for the look after for the child kasi yung safety niya. Hindi mo alam baka nawala yung anak ko. Baka nahulog na sa escalator. So kailangan i-ignore yung behavior pero never ignore the child. Again, kapag yung bata ay nag-temper tantrums, ignore the behavior. Huwag mo lang patulan na mother ka pero never ignore the safety of the child. All right, Tiga, proceed tayo. Yes, very good. Priority is the safety. Okay, ignore as long as the child is safe. Yes, again, bottom line nito, basta safe yung bata, nasa paningin natin, nakikita natin yung bata kung ano yung ginagawa, okay lang. Huwag mong patulan yung behavior ng bata. Okay, Tiga, proceed tayo. All right, hold on. Yan. Next one is 18 months. 18 months is security object. Dito na yan papasok yung parang hindi siya makakatulog kapag wala yung pillow niya. Kasi nung time ng bata ko, I have this favorite pillow. Yung, what do we call this nga? Yung, yung hotdog. Yan, yung hotdog na pillow. Hindi ako makakatulog kapag hindi ko kasama yung hotdog ko. Okay? Security object. Okay? Kasi dyan niya papasok yung bata. Ay, feeling ko secure ako. Feeling ko safe ako. Maganda yung tulog ko kapag kasama ko yung pillow na yon. Okay, imitating objects and adults, I have discussed that already. And of course, on your two years old, torn door knobs. Okay, torn door knobs. Ibig sabihin nito, safety is the priority. Parati dito, nagkakaroon tayo ng aksidente, okay, kasi uh, pwedeng lumabas yung bata sa bahay. Okay, safety is the priority here. Now, let's proceed here. Remember, it's nurses na lumalabas yung three years old, four years old, at saka five years old. The first one is three years old. Copies a circle. On the three years old, marunong na yung bata mag-draw ng circle. Tip to walking. Ano yung tip to walking? If this is your foot, okay, if this is your foot, nakaganito yung bata. Okay, at saka lumalakad ng ganyan. Tip to walking. Lumalakad siya ng ganito. Okay. June, June, punta ka nga dito. Okay, mami. Punta ka, mami. Okay. Yung parang naka, naka, uh, in Visaya, nakatiid. Okay. I don't know. Sa Tagalog yan, no? Language barrier talaga. Kapag yung bata nakatiid, yung parang sa Visaya, kasi Visaya ako, no? Region 6 ako, kapis nun ako, no? Kapag yung bata nakatiid, nakaganito. Yung tip to walking, nakaganyan. And then, lakad siya ng lakad. Okay. That's your tip to walking. Okay. Now, question. Next one is your rides tricycle. Remember this, three years old is three years old. Diyan papasok yung ating tricycle. Ano yung importance ng tricycle? Ilang gulong yung tricycle pala? Ilan yung gulong ng tricycle natin? 
tricycle natin is three. Ano yung purpose yan? Sa, sa una, sa likod, at saka isang gilid. Ano ibig yan? Para magkaroon ng balance yung bata. Because at the three years old, hindi pa marunong yung bata mag-balance. So kailangan meron pa siyang nag-guide, meron pang support. That's why tricycle is common on three years old. On the five years old, 3 plus 2 is 5. Diyan papasok yung bicycle natin. Yung bicycle natin, dalawa na lang yung gulong. Okay? Una at saka likod. Wala na yung gilid kasi yung bata, marunong na siya ano? Marunong na siya magbalance ng sarili niya. Okay? And of course, recognize age and sex. Dito na yan parating lumalabas. Uh, BB, how old are you? Okay? Nag-aaral ka na ba? Okay? Saan ka na? Uh, saan ka nag-aaral? Sino yung mother mo? Alam niya na kung ilang taon na siya dito. Again, pumapasok yan on three years old. Alright? Sige, proceed tayo. Remember your three years old. On your four years old, dyan na yan papasok yung copies Square. Kanina, 3 years old circle. So, 4 years old natin, square. Sa so 5 years old natin, it's triangle and diamond. It's triangle and diamond. Okay. Yan, yan. Again, 3 years old circle, 4 years old square, 5 years old triangle and diamond. Question. Paano, sir, kapag, um, um, paano, sir, kapag 5 years old na yung bata, pero hindi pa siya marunong mag-draw ng circle? Ano yung ibig sabihin nun? Again, marunong yung bata, ah hindi, sorry, hindi marunong yung bata mag-draw ng circle kahit 5 years old na siya. Ano yung ibig sabihin nun? Ano yung mga sagot natin? Okay. Parang delay tayo na, pero okay lang. Okay. Ang ibig sabihin po nito, delay yung bata. Kasi kailangan, based dito sa guidelines natin or sa developmental, developmental milestone ng bata, by the age of 3 years old, dapat marunong siya mag-draw ng circle. So kapag hindi pa siya marunong mag-draw ng circle, kahit 5 years old na siya, ibig sabihin, delay yung bata. Yes, very good. Developmentally uh, delayed. Yes. Delay yung bata at the same time delay din tayo ngayon. Okay? Just joking. Ibig sabihin, delay yung bata natin. Pero question, kapag yung bata ba ay um, three years old pa lang siya, marunong na siya ng circle, marunong na siya ng square, marunong na siya ng triangle and diamond, okay ba yun? Yes, okay yun kasi yung bata is what? advance ang kanyang learning. Kapag advance yung learning ng bata, mas maganda yung retention ng kanyang Learn, ng bagong learning. So, ibig sabihin, kapag na-learn niya na ito ng by 3 years old, by 5 years old, another schema, another um, another knowledge. Kasi according to um, according to Jean PJ, meron tayong tinatawag na schema, assimilation and accommodation. Schema is the building block of knowledge. So, ibig sabihin, kapag by 5 years old, by 5 years old, meron na siyang bagong schema. Merong bagong schema naman na papasok sa kanya. Merong bagong what? Building block of knowledge. Very good tayo doon. Sige, proceed tayo. Alright, sige, proceed tayo. On your four years old, okay, saan na lang? Stop board, great imit imitators, and saka clumsiness. I have discussed that already on your preschooler. Skips on uh, skips and hack on one foot. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Sino dito yung merong mall sa, ng bata? Mall kayo ng bata. What have you noticed? Ako, relate na relate ako dito kasi nung bata ko, may, yung pinakamalaking mall sa amin dito is just only Gaisano. And yung Gaisano namin dito is parang meron yung tiles yung tiles na square-square, di ba relate na relate tayo kasi yung bata, nakikita mo yung bata naglalaro doon. Skips on one foot. Okay, skip, skip. Yung piko, I don't know if uh, you are you are aware of the play piko. Yung piko, yung parang skip, skip, skip sila on one foot. Again, skip, skip, skip on one foot. Okay, clear tayo on your four years old kasi yan ang play ng bata. On the five years old naman, okay, can tie on shoelace. Again, Question, if you, is your 5 years old considered school age or preschooler? 5 years old is considered preschooler. 
So, ibig sabihin, can Thai show, uh, Thai show own shoelace? Ibig sabihin, before grade school yung bata, dapat marunong na siya mag ng shoelace. Kasi kapag hindi pa siya marunong mag ng kanyang shoelace, pagdating ng grade 1, pagdating ng grade 2, grade 3, magiging dependent yung bata sa'yo. Kaya kailangan dapat 5 years old pa lang yung bata, marunong na siya mag ng kanyang sariling shoelace. Okay? Proceed tayo. Catch and throws, ball well. Yan, papasok yan yung mga ball ang games natin. Okay? And of course, roller skating. Bakit? Hindi pwede yung roller skating papasok yan before 5 years old. Kasi nga, kailangan ito ng balance. Remember, yung ating bicycle ay papasok siya sa 5 years old. So, ibig sabihin, marunong na yung bata mag-balance sa kanyang sarili. So, roller skating is also checked here. Next one, no four colors. Ano yung primary color natin? Ano yung mga primary color natin? Yan. Yung mga primary colors natin, these are your red, blue, at saka yellow. Bakit merong green? Kasi yung green natin, nakikita natin yan sa environment. Nakikita natin yan kahit saan. Again, no four colors, the primary colors, and your green. And of course, next one, skips and half on alternative food. Skips and half on alternative food. Kanina, isang, isang paay na lang nag-half siya. Ngayon, alternate. Okay, skips, hap, skip, hap, skip, hap. Yan yung characteristics ng five years old. And of course, five years old is a backward walking. Like for example, sinabi mo, Jun Jun, punta ka nga dito, Jun Jun, Jun Jun, punta ka nga dito. Tinawag siya ng mami niya. Ano yung gagawin ng bata? Yes, mami. Okay, yes, mami. Yan maglakad yung bata. Yung parang, um, parang let me say na ang gulo ng bata. Yung parang um, ang langas. I don't know what's the term. Um, in Tagalog. Pero yung parang ang langas, yung parang hindi mo siya makokontrol kung ano yung gusto niyang gawin. So, sinabi mo sa kanya, uh, Jun, 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 punta ka nga dito. Yes, mami. Yes, mami. Okay. Backward walking siya. Papunta sa mami niya. Alright. Sige. Are there any questions so far, nurses? Meron ba tayong mga tanong? Alright, so kapag wala na po tayong tanong, so uh, I'll, pres I'll give now the floor to our CEO, Ma'am Rachel Olivar. Ma'am Rachel! Hello Sir Christian, good afternoon to everyone and maraming maraming salam Sir Christian for sharing your knowledge to our audience. Thank you very much for conducting our Middle East a review class this afternoon and to our 176 viewers po na, naka, na nasa live class po natin, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pag-attend um, pag ng klase natin. So let me just share to you what do we have in IPAS Online Review and Mentoring Academy. Ito yung po yung program namin, isa sa mga program po namin which is the Middle East Online Review Class which is a two-month duration na klase po natin per cycle and it's six months unlimited na klase. Um, it's conducted live na klase, the same as what Christian did. Um, if ever then na hindi po tayo makaka-attend ng klase natin through the live classes, you can access actually your online learning portal. If ever na busy po tayo at kung may duty po tayo. Usually sa mga students po namin sa Middle East na review classes, um, since working po sila at hindi nakaka-attend, kaya ang ginagawa po nila is nag-access po sa aming online learning portal. If ever that you are going to uh, enroll through our Middle East online review class, it's conducted online, meaning to say that you can access the class anytime, anywhere, at kung saan man po kayo, pwede po natin ma-access and wherever you are, pwede po, ka, pwede po tayo mag-enroll kasi online naman po. And with regard to the handouts po natin, meron po tayo mga downloadable handouts and it's all available in your online learning portal. And if ever na uh, client na po kayo ni IPAS, for the processing ng Middle East or um, Middle East na application po natin for the exam application, 
you actually have the discount para sa review. And if ever in a uh, uh, student po kayo and hindi pa tayo nagsimula for the Middle East na exam application, you also have your discount. So, one, um, yung nabanggit ni Sir Christian, yung topic niya for the uh, pediatrics is just one of the topics na binibigay namin for the online review. If ever in a uh, interested po kayo mag-enroll. So these are the topics that we are going to have in our class. And we also have our mock examinations and my final coaching po tayo. All the topics that you need in preparation for your Middle East examination will be discussed in our online class. So apart from that, um, sa mga live classes natin, meron po tayong specific na dedicated coach wherein your coach will will uh, communicate with you if ever na may kailangan po kayo and will track your progress as well. We'll check on you if nasan ka na ba at kung may mga problema po tayo na encounter during the review classes and uh, kung ano yung guidance na kailangan po natin in preparation for your examination. So right now, um, ito po yung second uh, cycle natin and it will end by February 27. So the next one will be on March. But if ever that you're already interested in enrolling for the classes, you can definitely enroll for our program anytime po. So yung uh, ano po natin yung enrollment po natin will be 6400 uh, for the first month and then on the next month na babayaran po natin will be 6 the remaining 6400 but as what I mentioned meron po tayong discount if ever na client na po kayo ni, ni iPass and if ever na hindi pa and you're going to start for uh, your review meron din pong discount for the application so our team is composed of this wonderful people uh, si Ms. Haya, who's already in the USA, Sir Christian, Sir Michael, because we also have our questions developer, because apart from what, um, from the topics that will be discussed by your educators, we also have our free na mga, uh, question bank. Um, it's, it's more than 2,000 na question bank po natin and our uh, success coach na si Sir Justin and our facilitators. So maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at sa pag-attend ng klase natin. So by next week, we will have our NCLEX class naman and we will be discussing um, the NGN series uh, series natin we will be for the NGN series natin we will be discussing the DKA management by that will be by Sir J Pado so watch out for our class by next week that will be scheduled that is scheduled by uh, February 22 po. so thank you very much for your time everyone and see you then sa next na mga klase natin and I hope every one of you is just safe and and you are doing well kung ano man yung ano natin, ginagawa natin, and kung ano man yung status natin. Ngayon, if you're preparing for your examination, keep going lang po sa mga, nag, uh, sa mga nagpe-prepare. Um, there might be some challenges along the way, but guys, you know that you can make it, and for sure, makukuha, makukuha natin yung, yung goal natin. So, God bless po sa lahat, and maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, and See you then sa next class natin. Thank you, Sir Christian. Thank you po, ma'am.